Hello everybody and welcome back to more Fiendfolia. We are jumping in again and continuing on our deleted trend of streaks. I don't know who we've got left, I'll be honest. I think v, um, VCS, is it called, is one of them we have left? Let's find out. So, Crypto Locker we have done. Have we done Crypto Locker? I'm pretty sure we've done Crypto Locker. This is, this is going to be the challenge of this series at the moment. Finding out which character they've already played as or not. Uh, let's go to my channel and have a little look-see. Hello, everybody. Oh, there's my voice. Hello. Um, did we do Crypto Locker? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember anything. One second. Okay, from what I can tell, we have not played as Crypto Locker yet, so let's give it a go. Nerve Red Hearts, Corrupted Effects are concealed, but they provide a damage bonus. That's gonna be very saucy. Very saucy indeed. We're hopefully going to have a better time than we have been doing recently. I am going to play well. I promise you that on this day. I am going to play well. I have been playing like a doo-doo recently. I blame it on my absence from the game. But absence makes the heart grow fonder. So I'm actually enjoying the game more. Not that I wasn't enjoying it before. But honestly, I am having a, a, a sort of renewed... Uh, interest in the game. Also, I think it helps that we're playing the deleted. By the way, I just want to ask this question because I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do yet, but would you guys be up for me doing a, a double deleted streak where brown nugget's actually not bad. We'll take brown nugget. Um, Would you guys be up for me doing a double deleted streak where essentially once I've been through all the deleted characters I have thumbnails for, I just go back through them at least one more time. Just so we've, we've had like one run to understand them and then a, well, a one episode to understand them and another episode to try and do well as them sort of thing. Because um, I'm just enjoying the deleted a lot right now and you guys seem to be enjoying it a lot too. So um, if you guys would be up for that, please do let me know. Also, yeah, I, I think Brown Nugget is actually pretty damn good. So don't diss on Brown Nugget, especially in boss fights and like longer rooms. I think it can be pretty darn good. I think they do 3.5 damage per hit, so it's not a ton, but it's enough. Addicted is whatever. Range down is kind of kind of rough, but not terrible. Do these guys shoot over the poops? I don't know. But it recharges pretty quick. It'd be even better if we can get 9 volt on top of it. But as for the question of the day today, I have a Discord channel for submitting questions of the day. You guys submitted a good few, especially um, one person in particular. You know who you are submitted quite a lot of questions of the day, so I'm going to be using theirs for a few a few episodes here. So the first one on the list that I liked of theirs was, um, when was the last, can, uh, last time you feel scammed and why? And for me, I was kind of trying to think of this. There's probably, there's probably some more egregious examples that I can think of, but one of them that came to mind immediately was somewhat recently. Um, me and my friends were trying to see um, a, a newish film I can't remember the name of the film now. It was a fantastic film, but I honestly can't remember the name of it. It was like everywhere, everything everywhere all at once. I think it was called something like that. It was a very, very, very good film about like multi dimensions and everything. It was, it was very interesting. Um, but we were trying to see it a little bit prior to it releasing everywhere. Ooh, there's some good stuff in here, but this is definitely a must take. Um, we were trying to see it like pr pre, like prior to its big release. Like it got. Released a few places, um... Ooh, Isaac's Tomb, very nice. And... Yes. Holy hell. This is good, okay. Um... I feel like I have to take Notch Axe now. And then I can bit flip this. Holy, what the hell, that's so cool. Just take it. They gave me a tears up. Don't know what the negative effect did. That's going to get me killed. I, I I have to be very conservative. This is a very good start to an episode here. Very good start indeed. Um, second secret room we should definitely try and find. But I'm not entirely sure on where it is. Hmm. Kind of a tricky one. Um, there's, there's only one place it can be, I'm fairly sure. I'm pretty sure it, c it can only be here. There you go. Wow, that was worth it. Yeah. Anyway, so we were trying to see that film, and like I said, it hadn't it hadn't had its like full theatrical release yet. There were still some places where um, it hadn't released, so we had to kind of shop around to find where to watch it. And we finally found that in the city over from us, um, there was a Cineworld, Cineworld that was uh, showing it. And for those of you that don't know Cineworld, um, at least from my experience with it in the past, it was always the sort of lower budget cinema experience. 
the films didn't cost as much, but also the cinema screens and the seating was usually a lot worse and smaller. Um, which it was fine because obviously if it was just a, um, a film you wanted to see straight away and you didn't want to pay a lot for and you were just like in the area, it was kind of, kind of good for that sort of reason. Um, I will take the glass D12 for a room that might end up being worth it. Um, especially considering we've got the ability to break rocks. But yeah, um, so we wanted to go and see that and we went over to this cinema and I was like, okay, City World, it'll be fairly cheap. And we get there and bear in mind that we've checked the website and we know that this film is being shown. Like we have checked the website and this film has is on their site as being shown to uh, be in this cinema. So we're like, okay, we'll, we'll head over there. Uh, we get there and um, we go to book our cinema ticket uh, on a lot of these places now have these little sort of kiosks that you can use to um, book your book your uh, cinema ticket without speaking to anyone, which is nice because human interactions are terrible. Um, but so we, we go to use one of these kiosks and we're like, it's it's not there. Where the hell is it? We can't find it. So we ask one of the like custodians or like one of the cleaners or whatever, because I don't know why the cleaner would know. But honestly, I, he he seemed to know what he was on about. He was a he, he like. He looked approachable. So anyways, we asked him, we're like, because there was no one else about. We were like, oh, tears down. Um, what what exactly is going on here? Like, where's the film? And he's like, oh, you need to be a premium member to view this film at the cinema. And we were like, well, the, the, the website doesn't say that at all. Like, we even showed him the website and we're like, it doesn't claim that at all. Um, and um, we're only coming here for, for like the one time. We don't have a Cine World near us, so we're not becoming premium members. And he was like, no, 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 you can come become a premium member. And it was something stupid, like, like 20, 30 pounds. I think it was like 30 pound a month or something. And it, it basically gave you a few free, uh, a few free cinema tickets each month and like discounts on some and then exclusive access to some others. Ow. Um... And I was just like, what? Why? Why would you advertise that, like, I can go there and watch this film um, on your website when I can't? But then, okay, this is a tricky one. Uh, this is a really tricky one. There's a lot of good stuff here. Mm, this is... This is tough. The library's probably not a great shout, so let's go here. We get some, which I think I'm just going to bit flip. See what shenanigans arrive from that, shall we? Let's destroy some of these. Um, so yeah, I was a bit peeved about that. I was like, that that feels kind of that feels kind of scummy. That like they, they seem to clearly know what they're doing with that. Get people into the cinema under false pretenses. That was kind of bullshit. So we couldn't actually watch the film that we wanted to unless we paid like a bunch extra for a cinema that we basically never returned to. Um so that, that one in itself was like, excuse me, what the fuck. But it does not end there. Ooh, um... Eh, that's not super good for us. We'll see if we get a better trinket later down the line. Um, but it does not end there. So because we're already at the cinema, and because we've made like a a, thir a 30 minute drive out to it, or however long it was, we're like, well, we're going to have to... Um, we're gonna have to like watch something while we're here and the only thing in the cinema that at the time we were like wanting to watch was the new Doctor Strange film uh, Multiverse of Madness so we're like okay we'll watch that oh that was a very bad hit by me there I'll take Cracker Jacks because it gives us a trinket and that is a trinket that I will smell if I can do you know what I'm gonna pop in here damn it I gained Damocles that was Unexpected. Okay, I'm not gonna smell now. Yeah, um Don't know why I got Damocles there, but that has added some um some certain risk onto the run. Some certain risk indeed. But anyway, so yeah, well like okay, we'll just go and see Multiverse of Madness. It's a film that we wanna see. It's here, why not? Well Oh god, this is a whoa, this is a hard room. And we also activated Damocles very early, which I'm not happy about. Um Well like whatever. Well, so normally, normally when I go to cinema, ooh, hello, so we've got a few items here. Why have we got three items exactly? Is this a choice? Um, oh, we've got more than one Damocles, I see. This run's going to get crazy. Uh, I guess I'll just take that. Oh, we get all of them, okay. 
Okay, well, this is going to get a bit wacky, isn't it? I reckon I'm going to die pretty soon to the Damocles falling on me. I don't know if having more than one Damocles increases our likelihood of getting hit or not. And I also don't have the stacking Damocles mod, but I do believe that it's included in the Gerb mod now. So stacking Damocles does actually work now, which is good. Um... But yeah, so anyways, I know I'm taking this is a very long-winded way of getting to the end of the story. But anyways, so we were like, okay, let's go see this film. And a normal cinema ticket is like seven pounds, eight pounds at like a premium uh, cinema experience, like view. And it was like seventeen pound each. It was so expensive. And guess what? The cinema. Do you know how I was saying that normally Cineworld is kind of like a subpar experience that's cheaper? Well. It was no longer cheaper, but it was still a subpar experience. The cinema screen was quite small, it was kind of dirty, and the seats were awful. I was just like, excuse me, I have been scammed to the highest degree here. Absolutely scammed. It was, I was just, the only saving grace, the only small saving grace of going to the cinema was that it had a Five Guys next door, and we got to go to Five Guys for food, which I was appreciative of. I need to be careful of my health right now. I'm getting hit, like, a lot. But yeah, I was just baffled. It was just, like, the worst cinema experience possible, and I just... I don't know how Cineworld operates like that. Everything about it was terrible. The prices were too high. I was unable to see the film that was advertised to me. The the cinema screen itself was a bit shitty. I was just it's just like, come on now. I wish Damocles. I'd, by the way, I, I I might it might already do this. And I might I just, might just be misremembering. But I wish Damocles had like an indicator that it was going to fall. As in like once you've been hit, I wish it like turned bloody or something. Do you know like it is in the actual item on the on the right there. What am I what am I looking for here? There's nothing else I need on this floor. We really don't want to be sticking around any longer than we have to anywhere. Also, I could use that D4 to re-roll, but remember that re-rolling doesn't remove your corrupted items, it doesn't re-roll them. So that wouldn't actually do much for us. Oh my god. I'm not going to take the GMO corn. I'm too scared. Anyways, this is getting a bit silly. I like it. I forgot about my old chest on the last floor. That's a shame. I like the ice cube a lot. I'll take that. It can help in dire situations. Put it this way, we probably won't be corrupting many more items. Um, I, I, I feel like we don't have much need to, to be honest. Considering, I'm, I'm not sure when we get Damocles, but we seem to get Damocles fairly often. Okay, not a big fan of you. Certainly not a big fan of the spike blocks doing their own thing, especially when they can't hit enemies, but they can move them around. I love this enemy design. Really, really cool, but very dangerous. I, I, I took a gamble there. It was not a good gamble. I also didn't find my secret rooms on that last floor, but that's kind of fine. It is what it is. Sponge enemy. So cool. Take you out. I'll check this arcade here. Maybe each Damocles resets my timer. Now that would be fantastic. Eh. Not willing to play into you right now. We do have quite a few big rooms here, which means that our D12 might get a little more useful. Oh shit, there was creep under that guy. It's fine, it's fine, it is what it is. Fucking hell. This is getting a little bit ridiculous. Give me that. I've got a bit of an idea of something I want to do in that room, but I need to find my secret room first. 
Hello, Astral. I still I need to un uninstall this mod. These things are way too common. Holy shit. <laughs> um, okay. Just stay entirely still and hope for the best. Snakey boy, get this guy. I don't want IBS. Doing his icicle move. Burn bombs. We got that. We got that. Oh, this this guy's still dropping stuff. Can you can you stop? Thank you. Okay, that was kind of nuts. Now, question is, will this fella, will this fella drop devil deal items? Yeah, I shouldn't have picked up the thingy, I uh, used the, the book. This is rather nice though. Thank you. Wait, does killing you spawn a bunch more? My character looks amazing right now, I gotta say. That it does. That it does. This run's gonna come to a grinding halt pretty soon, and it's gonna be sad, but for right now, I'm enjoying myself a lot. Bizies. Right, um... Again, I don't think we want to stick around on these floors, I'll be honest. I think once we get our item room, we can go. Oh, although I did want to see if I could find my secret room very quickly, because I have a little experiment I want to do. Which I think would be incredibly lucrative, uh, like like an obscene amount of lucrative uh, if it works. So I'm hoping it does. I just need to find my secret room, which right now I'm having a hard time of. Fun guy transformation. Oh, we just got a bunch of 1-ups out of nowhere there. So that helps us with Damocles. We at least have 1-ups going for us. I'm hoping we get more of those. Oh boy, we get more. This this run just got fucking wild. We now essentially can't really die to Damocles, which is pretty fucking insane, if you ask me. Where the hell's the last enemy? There's apparently another enemy in this room. Okay. Never really found out. Okay. There's a secret room. Right. We have some stuff we want to do. It's going to be a little time consuming, but considering... Yeah, I can't believe we got this synergy here. The 1-ups plus everything else. Of course, we don't come back with a lot of health with a 1-up, but it seems like we're going to get unlimited amounts of them. But anyways, here is my proposition. We grab this. We gift card all of these. And then we create an item in the secret room, which should, in theory, give me a fuckload of items. All from the secret room pool. And we can do that multiple times. Do you see my genius? Do you understand it now? It did not give me a fuckload of items as I anticipated, but it's still useful. It's still useful. We can still get a good few items. By the way, I have completely retired Bitflip now. Bitflip is, is it has done its work. It has made its mark on this run. I don't believe we need to associate with the likes of it anymore. I feel like... Anything more could cause drastic, terrible, terrible problems for us. I think getting unlimited 1-ups from unknown sources, um, plus getting... Um, you better if you found the second secret room, I'll be honest, but I don't know where that is. Um, plus getting all these Damocles, and yeah, I it's just... It's too good to be true. It really is. Got two more to go. We could get some planetarium items too. But secret room items just have the potential to be so much more fun. 
I'm really um, curious as to... Um, kills all non... Uh, gives you a broken nerve. We don't want that. We don't want that. Yeah, I'm really curious what's going on with my lamp here. It seems to be having just a real hard time of existing. I'm surprised not a single Damocles has fallen so far. But I, I'm sure I'll live to regret those words. But, as I said, we've got 12 one-ups. As long as we can get more of those somehow... We we might be able to like outpace the amount of uh, one ups to um, the um, I think I know what gave us it now. I think I know. Ah, oh. so I'm fairly sure it's from getting money, and I think we get a one up every time we hit 99 from the Mario hat, and I think we have something that's giving us a lot of money. I'm not 100 percent sure if that's the case, but that seems like the most likely outcome here. Anyways, let's be on our merry little way, shall we? Let's be on our merry little way. This, yeah, this is this is a cool run. I like it. We don't have any money for stairway, so it's not... Actually, no. I was just about to say it's not much use. It's a lot of use. Because of you. Stairway is incredible. Thank you. Yeah, stairway's incredible. Okay, not quite sure what all the tears were when I entered the room. But I'll accept it. Was it the finch things that are giving me it? Maybe it was. I should be picking those up. Ah! Ahahahahaha. Ahahahaha. This glitch has nothing to do with my corrupted items. Now, you'll see, I pick up a penny, it does nothing. I pick up this, it gave me a 1-up. I pick up this, it gave me a 1-up. Because it's underflowing. It is underflowing. It is minusing money off me, which is giving me a 1-up. Because finches can go up or down, I believe that every single time I pick one of these up, it is minusing money off of me to below the amount of money I have, which is tricking the game into thinking I've hit 99 somehow. I don't know why. And that is causing us to get an insane amount of one-ups. So this is just a genuinely broken combo that exists completely regardless of the corrupted if we get the uh, Fitch's item Finches, whatever you want to call them um plus we get um the mario hat we could do this on a regular run intriguing indeed what a what a crazy fun combo we've got going on here I'm, I'm still curious what the condition for us getting a Damocles actually is, because I still don't really know. Okay. I have no idea if this will, like, stacking these does anything. Well, I'm gonna stack them. I can't pick up that last one for some reason. Maybe I ran out of Damocleses? But yeah, so dropping bombs on these gives me regular money. Picking up these gives me one-ups. So I think I've lost all my Damocleses now. But we will we will regain them with time.
So we should, in theory, only get a few items here. Let's do more of the floor before we do that then, shall we? Try and get a few more Damocleses in the house somehow. However we manage to do that. It seems to be like a chance upon entering a room. Spoonbender would be great if we could actually get money, but I don't think we can. We have so many familiars, it's absurd. Oh. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Yeah, we definitely lost quite a lot of our uh, Damocleses here, which isn't great, obviously, but we'll regain them pretty fast. There's Godhead. Ta-da! I like our absolute train of, of uh, one-ups here. It's kind of great. Right, quickly go back to our item room now. This is beautiful. I don't even know what's firing these holy light shots. That's, that's, that's not holy light, it's a different item. That is not Mum's, oh, that is Mum's knife. Um, Is Mum's knife really something we want right now? I don't think it is. Yeah, I don't think that's something we want right now. Right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of Skadoodle. We've got 43 one-ups ready to go. We're getting huge puffs of smoke anytime we walk anywhere. What an amazing glitch we found here. I love it. We got that. Don't pick up the key piece. We got that. The relic. What the hell's this thing? Um, enemies killed by tears will leave behind short-lived ghost auras. Nice. I like the idea of that. Right. Let's go. I think at this point we're just going to stomp everything, right? Still not had a single Damocles fall on us somehow. Damocles isn't even above our head anymore. That's how powerful we've become. Oh, they leave like a little aura that gives you a stat boost. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. It's an item I haven't seen before that I definitely want to see on a normal run. This cannot be classed as a normal run. This is anything but normal. It's kind of like depressing that I haven't been hit by a Damocles yet just because we have a way out and it's like I don't, I, so far I haven't even needed the way out. It's just so it's just nice safety. I'm not I don't want to be hit but like if, if ever there was a run to be hit by it this is the one. The library here. That's going to be a lot of books. This room just a... Uh... Okay. There was enemies in this room at some point. That's a lot of books. I'm obviously not going to take though, all the books. But I will take everything that isn't a book. Which seems to be a lot of really good items, actually. So I thank you for that. Thank you. I'll be on my merry way again. I need a key. Thank you. That's good you shall receive. Now I need night item room. We've got crits coming in. We don't have a hell of a lot of luck right now, but I don't think that really matters too much. I 
Um, I picked up the red key, and it seems to have not done anything. I wanted quad shot. I hit the familiar limit. I think that was part of the problem there. Okay. We out of there. This might be one of the, the, the highest amount of items I've had in a single run. Thanks to stacking Damocles. Gotta love it. Yeah, normally Damocles can't stack, but the gerb mod uh, adds stacking Damocles by default, I think. It was a separate mod at one point, but I think now it's built, in, built into the gerb mod because it's made by the same creator. I wouldn't step there, Mom. I wouldn't put your foot there. Holy hell. That's a lot of items. Gimme, gimme. Sacred Heart. Okay, we've we've I think we've exhausted the pool. Oh no no no. Most of these are still angel deals, I think. A gigabomb just just for the excess. Okay, now some of these definitely aren't. Lawn Darts isn't. Monstrous Lung isn't. I don't want Monstrous Lung though. I don't want anything that makes me have to charge. Our familiars are just freaking the hell out all the time. It's great. Right, out we go. And on our way we are. Not quite understanding why there's no angel statue or items in there, but... To each their own, I guess. I guess the game considered me too powerful. No! I've reached two speed! That's not good. Now this is going to proc every single room for ages. What a heinous item. I might just remove that item. It, it makes things mo Yeah, it makes things less fun. What the hell's the item called again? I can't remember the name of the item now. Taurus, I think it is? Oh, hell. What the hell's going on here? How the hell does it spell Taurus? Is it Tor? I can't remember, I'm gonna go find out. Isaac. It's T T A U. Yeah, just, this run's already won. I, I think you guys will be okay with me removing an item to make it more fun. Beautiful. <laughs> just one shot clears every room, it's beautiful. Even bosses. Move out the way before the items spawn. <laughs> when the items spawn, things get a bit wacky. Right, just keep getting them all. <sighs> this is, it's cathartic, this. Soothes my soul. Don't want Tech X. Don't want Schrodinger's either.
Sorry to tell you, game, but I don't really care if you hit me. I can't fucking see. My fucking familiars are freaking out. They just don't understand how to exist. They are really having a hard time understanding how to exist. Please stop. Please. Just calm down. All I get now is puffs of smoke. Doesn't even know where to spawn stuff. Apparently we got tech. We got whatever this is. Time itself. Bit of explosivo in there. Bit of dirty mind in there. It seems my Damocles are having a hard time staying spawned as well. I think that's all we can do in this room, because this... Is it Key Beggar that fucked everything? Okay, and everything's fine now we're out of that room. They have like a minor freak out. Okay, it just seems to be an angel rooms. It just can't cope. Yeah, I just can't cope with angel rooms whatsoever. I can't even see the items that I'm picking up. Right, everything else you can stay in there, because honestly I can't be arsed trying to pick you up. Game's freaking out too much. Filigree Feather. Does that even matter, actually? It doesn't, really. It gives us one extra item, I think. Holy. This, this might be the legitimate most powerful run I've ever had. I mean, it was bound to happen at some point. We crashed the game. Be right back. If this run lets me continue, I'll be surprised. No, it doesn't. It's dead. We killed the game. I, I honestly think that's fine. I think that's fine. It is what it is. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that absolute disaster, but it was brilliant. And yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.